wish someone would share with me what the other plan is. And that is how are you meeting a $2.4 billion shortfall? We speak of fiscal responsibility, we speak of fiscal prudence, we speak of fiscal integrity. Those cannot be words, those have to be deeds. I must tell you I would be in infinitely better shape if when my American Express card bills come, because of course there are multiple American Express card bills in my household, I could simply put them away, put them in a drawer, and say they don't exist. But I can't put the bills away. And fiscal responsibility and fiscal prudence says that I cannot. We have been uh, dealing with these kinds of bills for a long time. We've been dealing with them because we're not answering the problems of the state. The hard decisions are not being made, but that is year after year after year. And certainly they're not being made in this budget and certainly not being made by this governor in all due respect. We are in the fifth year of Governor Christie's budget proposals and budget cycles. And I remind everyone, the budget that arrived here this year, which is the governor's budget, which is now multiple years of this governor's budget, and multiple years of optimistic budget projection speeches, and multiple years of discussions about comebacks and successes, that it's this budget that has failed. It's the governor's budget that has failed. So we stand at a point in time where we have to, as any business would, recognize that we have obligations and we have to meet those obligations. We have a packet of bills here that are designed to get us out of this fiscal hole. We've waited to see any ideas from the, uh, my colleagues on the other side when it comes to resolving this dilemma that we're in. Uh, the uh, governor has put forth some unrealistic, unrealistic fiscal forecast uh, constantly, and we find ourselves in this situation again for the fifth time. I am fond of and have great respect for Assemblyman Bucco, and I share his sympathy uh, for his friend who starred in the anecdote, um, who saved a million dollars by moving across the Delaware uh, River to Pennsylvania. I can tell you that of the uh, 530,000 New Jersey taxpayers who filed for the earned income tax credit in, uh, in, in, in fiscal year 2011, the hundreds of thousands of New Jerseyans who will be aided by the increase in the, e, uh, in the EITC being accomplished by this bill, wish they had a fraction of a million dollars to lose. So I'll give my own personal challenge to myself and to my colleagues, and that is that this will be the last time that I'll vote for a new tax. But there's a precondition. The Republicans can't spend any of the money that's being raised in the taxes that we're talking about tonight. The 130 tax increases, or however many it's been, don't spend that money and don't spend this money, and I won't vote for any more taxes. But we can't have it both ways. We can't use the money that's being generated by taxes and then lament that it was corrected, collected in the first place.